Welcome back, Dragon Folk, uh, to another episode of Us in the Wasteland. Um, I believe we are coming up to where we were, where we died last. I'm gonna take this opportunity to save here, because I don't want to have to reload all this. This looks like a recruit person came through, killed all these gunslingers. Miss. Retro there you are. There. Nope. Ooh. Okay, these guys are actually really tough. Really tough, really tough, really tough, really tough. Okay, single shotgun, not a good idea. I definitely want to get that thing done. About. Oh, he must have died. I don't know. He's literally just going to cower in fear. Say, how am I missing? He's not even moving. You're overwhelming the monsters, baby. You become vilified by the community. That's fine. I didn't like you guys anyway. Let's get that. Doctor's bag. I'll take that. Uh. Okay, that's it for that. What about you? Uh, some rounds, some grenades. Another doctor's bag, grenade rifle. Okay, not bad, not bad. Hammer, mentats, a stim pack. Oh my gosh, actual stim pack? Can't believe my eyes. All right, let's save the game. <laughs> save the game because we almost died there. So now Season of the Legion really doesn't like us. Which is fine. Because we didn't want them to like us. You guys are jackasses. All right, so I think we're here in... Is this Snowbank? Ranger Station Charlie. TR. Good. Now we at least know we're in a good place here. Um, little box, what's in there? Nothing. I want to take that. Weird. Where is everyone in the station? Did everyone go to that other station? Soda bottle, a chair. Hey, I'm just looking for like a really good sniper. That's really all I want. I just want a really good sniper. Nothing else matter matters after that. Just. Hey, okay. we've rested. My leg is no longer broken. So this isn't where we need to be. How far are we from this? 
We are, and eh, we're not so far. Ranger Station Charlie. There's no one there. So. Is that the caravan? Okay, well, the caravan at least made it through, which means there's gotta be no. There's gotta be no enemies in this way. So, good. Oh, ramen are just so nasty. So nasty. Is that a giant T-Rex? What is that? What is that? Is that a giant dinosaur? I don't even need it. Also, the moon? But look, look at that dinosaur. I don't need anything else. The rest of this place, the rest of this game, doesn't matter. That right there, that's what matters. I'm gonna go touch it. I wanna go touch it! Alright, we're, we're here, we're in Novak. Oh, good. This is the town we need to be in. Perfect. Hey there. Hey there. Howdy. 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 Dinosaur! Come here, my friend! Look at him. Motel. Wanky. Wanky. Oh, that's why they called it Novak. You can see Victor? Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. What are you doing in Novak? Don't rightly know. I just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. So what's the story at this place? Novak? Nice enough place, I suppose. But between you and me, when I rolled into town, my skin start to itch. Watch yourself. Likewise, friend, likewise. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? Uh, I can use a bed and some supplies. Well, this ain't New Vegas, but I reckon you can find what you need here. Try the office out front. You said the men that jumped me were heading this way, right? No, don't believe I did. But you might ask around. The Novak folk usually see anyone traveling this way. Quite a coincidence, this meeting like this. Seeing how this is the only road around, I'd be a sight more surprised if we didn't run into each other from time to time. Be seen. Interesting. That is weird that Victor is just kind of here. Hey. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. We haven't met yet. Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. What is this place? We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel. And it's mine. Oh. What is there of interest around here? Well, there's Dinky, the town mascot. He's a sight. You probably already saw him when you came in, but you can go up inside too. What? Up the roadways to the west, there's Repcon. That's the old rocket factory. There's been some sinister characters out there lately, so you may want to stay clear. Other than that, nothing to do but take it easy and enjoy good company. Right. Well, up north the ways, you'll see a big tower. That's Helios 1. Used to be a power plant in its day. Oh. And there's a town just east of here called Nelson. Used to be such a quaint little place until those slavers took it over. Uh -huh. But we got our wonderful snipers keeping Ooh. an eye in that direction. And snipers. so far, the slavers have left us alone. Learn more about Reptile. I just know what I've heard. 
There's supposed to be some ghouls that went in a while back. Mm, makes sense. Ever so often, there'll be a commotion from that direction. Explosions and such. Watch out for strangers. I hope you're fine. Uh, where can I get some supply? Go see Cliff Briscoe at the Dino Bite gift shop and tell him I sent you. I think he gets lonely standing around in that dino belly all day. He'll be glad for the company. Oh. I'm looking for a man in a checkered coat. Have you seen anyone like that? Well, he might have been wearing a fancy outfit, but he wasn't any kind of gentleman to me. Had his nose stuck so high in the air you couldn't see it above the clouds. City folk. They always think they deserve better than what they got. Those hoodlums he was with seemed to know Manny for some reason. He's our daytime sniper up in the dinosaur's mouth. Oh. Been going on in town lately. Well, let's see. Dusty McBride's been losing some Brahmin, but that's probably the heat more than anything. Honestly, it's been real quiet. Ranger Andy's still hurt, but Ooh, we got these me. two gentlemen snipers watching the road day and night, keeping the trash out of Novak. They've been a blessing. Huh. Uh, what's the quickest way out of this town? You can jump out the window. You oh. got no right to come in here and start criticizing our town. We do the best we can. But still, there's always some of you finicky types that there's just no oh, pleasing. No. Sorry, I didn't remember what I said. This seems like a nice town. Well, it is. Not everybody appreciates it like they ought to. Huh. Watch out for strangers. Hold on one sec. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, we have. That radio. Um, okay. Dinky the T Rex. Super, uh, Dinky. His name's Dinky. Okay, so we can go inside the dinosaur? Is that what I'm hearing? Certainly can go inside the dinosaur. This is also where these guys are, yeah. Thank you, the souvenir. Welcome the to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. What do you sell here? Well, there's T Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. Uh, what about supplies? Any guns? Do you sell those? Guns? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess I might have a few. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. Tell me more about the souvenir rockets. They're scale replicas of the real thing. Very detailed. Got a liquid in them that makes them glow. From what I hear, Repcon used to give them out on tours of their HQ up in Henderson. <laughs> But I guess they had to stop after the first few kids thought they were filled with nuka cola and drank it down. Ooh. The papers had a name for the condition and everything. They called it the Repcon Shakes. Those were bad times for Robco. How'd they end up here? Well, they unloaded what they had left on the Dino Bite as a tax write-off, but that was before my time. Plenty of demand for them, seeing as how they're one-of-a-kind collector's items, but I might still have some in back. Uh, Jenny May sent me. Bless her. Seems like every traveler I get in here tells me the same thing. They see the sign and think, gift shop? That's just too good to be true. But Jeannie May always points them back in my direction. Well, a friend of Jeannie's is a friend of mine, and my friends get a discount at my store. Uh, hell yeah. Uh, what do you got for sale? Sure thing. Have a look. Boop, boop. Um... A lot of hollow point rounds, more 10 millimeter rounds, um, 3 millimeter grenades. Uh, no, 
A long barrel? Now that's for a, for a revolver. Mm, a camera, caravan shotguns, cowboy repeater, Dink the T-Rex souvenir. Value is a thousand? What? What? No, I just want one. Oh, <laughs> weird. Okay. No. Oh, it's just because there's a thousand of them, I see. I see what's happening. Flamer fuel? That doesn't seem so bad. Um, future weapons today. Grenade rifle long barrel. Hmm, I don't have the caps for that. Laser rifle, locksmith reader. Patriot's cookbook, outer charge. Power fist, oh. Primer box, large pistol, rocket souvenir, spatula, some stim packs. Oh gosh, I will, I will take that. Man, I can't take them. Man. Um, that gun. Okay. Come back. Okay, so I got some stim packs. That's nice. Um, definitely, that's like a pretty strong weapon, to be honest. I know I don't have much in, like, melee weapons, but, like, that's pretty good. Okay, um... So now up here, though, there is... Sniper, Manny What's Barks. going on, man? Uh, who are you? I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's Boone. Uh, what do you protect the town from? You name it. Anything that comes within a thousand yards that looks like trouble. Lately, we've been getting ghouls, coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. But so far, we've been lucky. Uh, who's Boone? Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but uh, we're not so friendly right now. Oh, we're in bad terms with Boone. Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. What did you and Boone's wife argue about? Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins, we were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang, I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Ooh, so you were in a gang? Were they tough? Were they tough? I was in the oh. cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. Was your chore with the NCR like? Oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe. What's not to like? Why'd you leave? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened, and people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. Hmm. What happened at Bitter Springs? I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. 
I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. It just wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. Looking for a man who checked a coat. Sure I know him. What do you want with him? Uh... Oh yeah? A good friend? If you say so, man. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Uh, what do you need? Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. It needs to be done. Well, they gotta go, or this will be a ghost town before long. It doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. Uh, okay, I'll see what I can be done about it. It'd mean a lot to me. All right. Yeah, see ya. Okay, so we now have, we have to head to the Repcon facility west of Novak to investigate rumors of ghoul activity. And I love fighting ghouls. How you doing? I love it so much. Can't get enough of going and fighting ghouls. Oh uh, gosh. Cliff really likes these dinosaurs. He's got like an odd obsession with dinosaurs. Ranger Andy. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Uh, what do you do here, Andy? Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. You're with the NCR, right? Was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. <laughs> they haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. <laughs> you feel better if I checked on your NCR friends for you? Uh, no. No, they're gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. I don't give them enough credit. Tell me about the Ranger. They're the NCR's finest. A one-man platoon, each of them. You got a job where even thinking about it would scare a man senseless? That's when you bring in the Rangers. And if you see a squad of veterans, guys who are in their black armor, well, you won't find a more beautiful sight. Black armor? Did you do something to your leg? Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. What happened? A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. What'd you do? I go to grab him out of there and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Uh -oh. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet, and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel, just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. <laughs> Body's injured, not your mind. You're kidding yourself if you think you're useless. <laughs> People don't exactly line up to find out what's in my head. Can't remember the last time someone suggested I knew something worth knowing. You know, maybe there's something I can do for you. Since you've gone to all the trouble of flattering a crippled old soldier, there's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off his feet. Save my butt a bunch of times, maybe it will for you too. Let me show you how it's done. New unarmed technique, Ranger Takedown. You've learned the Ranger Takedown special move. Use this technique to initiate a power attack while moving backward. You'll drop your opponent to the ground. Okay, sure, that's neat. That's cool. 
All right, well, I believe uh, we have the town here of Novak. We've made it. And now we need to uh, rid Repcon of the ghouls, right? That's located over yonder. Right there, the Repcon test site. So right over there is Repcon. So we'll go over there uh, next, and we'll, we'll see about what we've got. Uh, hopefully we can make some good progress there. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Um, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as well if you have not already. Uh, every little subscription makes a huge difference. Um, honestly, if there's any content that you guys would like to see and it's none of what I have on the channel right now, let me know. I'll try to get it on there. Um, I'm a man who likes to try and do many a thing at once. Um, and I hope to gain a lot of life skills and things like that as I go through uh, making videos. Uh, granted, playing Fallout New Vegas is not a life skill, but um, I want to kind of document me going through these things. So hopefully we can come up with something good. So uh, thank you guys once again for uh, enjoying this video. And uh, tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody. We like to have a fun time over here, and I'd love to have all of you here. So make sure to grab yourself some water and get yourself a snack. Prepare yourself for the next episode. I'll see you then. All right. Nerd out. <laughs>